The government and public sector unions have been at loggerheads for weeks. What do we need? Five to survive. With workers calling for a pay rise of at least 5%, labelling the government's offer of 2.75 offensive. Morning everyone, thanks for joining us here this Sunday morning. The Premier called a snap media conference to announce a new wages offer to help workers deal with rising inflation. It will go to 3% this year and 3% next year. The pay rise to come with a $2,500 sign-on bonus for all public sector workers. I think a lot of people would be quite excited by the fact they'll get that money directly into their bank account immediately, able to deal with the pressures they're facing right now. He says the offer will help low- and middle-income earners the most. Anyone up to about $120,000 is getting more than 5% pay increase. But unions say the Premier's figures don't quite stack up. This announcement today has been made without consultation with unions. We haven't been in a room negotiating this. Government has just announced it. We are going to have to say, take some time to talk to public sector workers about what this means to them before we respond to government. Later, in the Kimberley, the Premier denied announcing the policy like it was a done deal. Uh, we advised uh, Unions WA, a range of senior union officials yesterday evening about what the offer would be, so we gave them advance warning. Uh, but these are decisions of government that uh, we advise the public of as well. But a lack of notice wasn't the primary concern. The one-off cash payment will help workers meet immediate cost of living pressures, but it will mean in future years they continue to go backwards. We believe that to keep up with the cost of living year on year, that you need to actually have pay increases that compound on each other. So no, we are not supportive, generally speaking, of one-off payments. Will this wage offer um, stop our, our nurses and midwives from leaving? Probably not. Unions say they'll consult members in coming days and haven't ruled out industrial action. James Carmody, ABC News.